Hey there everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by today. I am participating in three different challenges. I have three different videos coming out for you throughout the day today. So make sure you guys keep your eye out for those. I was just really excited to participate in all three of them, so I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Uh, for this challenge, for this video, I am going to be doing the fall DIY and home decor challenge which is being hosted by the DIY Mommy and I will link her channel as well as the playlist for this challenge below so make sure you go and check those out after you are done here. For my DIY, I am going to be making a fall coffee filter wreath so I hope you stick around to find out how it turns out. Okay, so what you're going to need to make this wreath are just some of these um, natural unbleached coffee filters. Um, they do not have these at my Dollar Tree, so I just picked them up at Kroger. Uh, you need at least 200 of them. I got an extra 100 pack of them just in case. Um, and then a wreath form, I just got this from Dollar Tree. And then some twine to make your hanger and hot glue and your glue gun. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is make a hanger for my wreath and you wanna do this in the beginning because it will get too hard to um, make a hanger at the end uh, because of all the coffee filters. So I'm just making mine out of twine, but you could use wire or whatever you would like. Okay, so now it is time to put the coffee filters on the wreath and all you're going to do is fold the coffee filter in half and then in half again and again and one last time so that it kind of resembles a flower if you're looking at it from the top and then the bottom you're just going to fold down and that's what you're going to start hot gluing. And you wanna start on the inner ring and work your way towards the outside ring. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this fall coffee filter wreath. I think it turned out really cute. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell, especially since I have two more videos coming out today. And that's it. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.